As we look at Google Classroom, there's an updated interface that you'll notice if you've used Classroom in the past, and that is that Stream is still there, uh, but now we have something that says Classwork and People, and the About section is gone. So for this tutorial, we're going to look at what is the stream and, and what does it do and what is the classwork uh, tab and what does it do? And then in uh, follow-up videos, we'll go into a little bit more depth about these. So let's start with the stream. What is the stream? Well, the stream is just a place for you to post interactive announcements for your students. It's simply a place that has announcements. You can save announcements and have them display later or anytime you add something to classwork or you just wanna make an announcement to your students, like don't forget the permission slip or um, here's a link to the entry task. You can do that through the stream. It's a quick and easy way to have kids get into their Chromebook and find out whatever it is that you want them to see right now. Now, when I go over to classwork, it's a little bit different. Classwork is set up so that you can chunk content uh, using something they call topics in the modules. So you can see for this course, we have some different topics. One is course overview. The next topic is module one, module two. So as a student, you can easily go in there and find the content without having to dig down through the stream um, and scrolling and, and trying to figure out what, what it is that you're, you know, where is it that the, the content that you're looking for. So that's really the difference here. Classwork is, a place to, to create topics and add content to it. Stream is sort of that ongoing everyday activity. So let me give you an example. I'm going to put an announcement in the stream and I'll click on create announcement and don't forget your field trip. And then I'll go ahead and attach a permission slip. Maybe I have it in my U drive, maybe I have it downloaded to my computer, or maybe I have it in Google Drive. I'll show you a couple different ways. For this uh, example, I have it downloaded to my computer, so I click on the attachment file, the little, the little paper clip. Now it's going to look um, on my computer. It says select files from your computer. Okay, yeah, let me go there. There's my field trip permission slip. I click open and upload. And now I just need to post it. Now, again, if, anytime you see these little triangles, you can hit that and you could schedule the post if you want. In other words, it would post at a later date, but I just wanted it to post right away. So there we go. Now, when my kids log in, they'll see that they need, there's their permission slip and they need to make sure it's filled out and returned. Uh, what if I wanted to attach something from Google Drive to my announcement? Easy peasy. I'll just go in, create an announcement. Um, same thing. Okay, so there's the permission slip. Instead of clicking on the attachment, now I click on Drive because I saved it to Drive. So if I click on my Drive, um, I can go through my Drive or it just finds the most recent. I was just fooling around with the permission slip, so I'll just add that and post it. And these are essentially the exact same thing. One, I posted a, a file that was saved to my computer and the other file was saved to my, my Google Drive account. There's really no difference. Another thing you might do with a stream is add a video or a link to something that you want the kids to do. Maybe they're coming in and doing an entry task. So for example, maybe we're going to be doing something with Quizlet Live. Okay, so that's a, that's a link. So I just get a link to Quizlet Live. There's the link. I go back over to my uh, Google Stream and then I click on the link button, post the link in there and add a link. Now, when the kids uh, go into this page, they'll have a direct link right into Quizlet Live. That could be a variety of things. It could be any website. It could be a video that you have saved or something that you want the kids to watch and engage in before class starts. Um, it could be reminders. I mean, that's, that's the point of the stream is it's an ongoing feed that you're putting content there regularly for kids to check. The big idea here is that classwork is different in that it is more chunked, more um, sort of developed into content modules so that students don't have to dig through that stream to find the content you're looking for. Let's look to see what it looks like as a student. Okay, so here I am logged in as a student. Uh, it looks pretty much the same, stream, classwork, and people. 
but you can see now I'm a student and I have the ability to add a class comment. So please join our Quizlet Live. If a student was to click on that, it launches the link out to Quizlet Live in a new tab, which is fantastic. Of course, they need a little bit more information to make that work. The permission slip. Okay, don't forget to have this filled out. What do I do if I'm a student? Well, I just click on the permission slip. Here's a preview of it that's coming up. I can preview that permission slip and download it, print it, whatever I need to do so that my parents can fill it out. Let's go look at what the um, classwork, look, classwork looks like when you're a student. Oops, I gotta get over to the right class here, excuse me. So classwork looks a lot like what the teachers looks like, uh, but you can see it's all chunked into these modules. So that concludes the difference between stream and classwork and in the following videos we're going to go into more depth around stream and more depth around classwork.